Mary Kay Ash is one of the greatest entrepreneurs of all time and a great inspiration. Born on May 12, 1990, in Hot Wells, Texas, Mary Kaitlyn Wagner, or only Mary Kay, had a simple life in the Texas city. At 17, she married Ben Rogers. They had three children, Ben Jr., Marilyn Reed, and Richard Rogers. While her husband served in World War II, she sold books door to door to complement her family's income. However, after her husband's return in 1945, they divorced something extremely rare at the time. Mary had a stable professional career and worked for years for Stanley Home Products. In the company, she played a leading role and eventually trained some employees, but was extremely frustrated when she was left behind and saw a man that she had trained win the promotion to management, thus becoming her superior. Mary retired in 1963 and intended to write a book to help women in business. Her idea was to inspire other women based on her experience with sales and people training, something rare for a woman at the time. The book became a business plan for her ideal company, and in the summer of 1963, Mary Kay and her new husband, George Hallenbeck, planned to found a company in the beauty business, which would be called Beauty by Mary Kay. However, a month before Mary Kay and George started Beauty by Mary Kay, as the company was then called, George died of a heart attack. A month after George's death, on September 13, 1963, when she was 45 years old, with an investment of $5,000 from her eldest son, Ben Rogers Jr., and her youngest son, Richard Rogers, Ash started Mary Kay Cosmetics. The company started its original operation in a store in the city of Dallas. The company would count on the sales of various beauty products, such as makeup and cosmetics. Beside Mary Kay Cosmetics physical store, the company had an enormous insight that enabled the business to become a worldwide colossus, to act through direct sales. The direct sales modality allowed the company's product to be sold through a catalog in different sites and locations, taking the products directly to the consumer, wherever she was. Direct sales would be made through consultants and commercial representatives. These professionals could sell Mary Kay products from door to door, all over the country, through a brand's products catalog. This way, the company wasn't limited to only one physical point, and so the consultors and representatives could spread the brand all over the country and at the same time receive commissions from each product sold. The consultants would work independently and could make their sales schedules and strategies, an innovation that represented freedom and power for thousands of American women who saw Mary Kay as a recurring work opportunity or a way to increase household income. Something revolutionary until then, in a time that women were taking their first steps in the labor market. Mary Kay conferred the opportunity of American women to undertake on their own. Since then, the company inspired and helped thousands of women all over the world. This direct sales method represented a leap on company sale and also on Mary's K image, which trained personally the consultants until them. Her speeches have become extremely famous and she is an inspiration all over the world, even today. Since 1964, Mary Kay has created an event that would become an annual event, in which she brought together several women to address some issues, such as sales, leadership and entrepreneurship. The event became a tradition and received the name of seminar. In these events, Mary Kay showed all her abilities, and it is still possible to find transcriptions and recordings of these events, considering outstanding until today. In 1966, Mary Kay remarried, this time to Melvin J. Ash, adopting the name Mary Kay Ash. 
the company cared a lot about its employees and always looked for methods to qualify them and more than that, to keep the sales team always motivated. Because of this commitment, since 1964, Mary Kay has included another tradition in the company, the pink cars. In that year, the company decided to award the leaders in sales with a Cadillac in color pink. The car was a symbol of success, not only among the consultants, but also became nationally known by the general public, who came to know the brand and recognized that the consultants who had the pink cars were the most successful consultants. The bonus policy with the pink cars occurs until today. Nowadays, the consultants receive cars of different prices in luxury brands. In the 70s, Mary was honored numerous times, including receiving honorary seats and chips titles and becoming a figure in the Hall of Fame of direct sales. Ash and her partners, including his son Richard, went public in 1968. However, in 1985, the company's management decided to make the company private again, after 17 years as a public company. In the same year, Mary Kay was elected one of 25 most influential women in America. The company was already active in several countries, and a thousand of women around the world to undertake through direct sales of Mary Kay products. In 1987, Mary Kay left her position as CEO and became emeritus president of the organization. In the 90s, the company underwent further expansion and even created its own museum, the Mary Kay Museum in Dallas, Texas in 1993. Ash remained active at Mary Kay Cosmetics Inc. until she suffered a stroke in 1996. In the same year of the tragedy, she decided to create a company charity foundation to fund cancer research and programs for women around the world. In 1999, Mary Kay received the Most Admired Entrepreneur of the Century Award for Lifetime Television. Her youngest son, Richard Rogers, was appointed CEO of Mary Kay Cosmetics Inc. in 2001. Soon after, Mary Kay Ash passed away at the age of 83. At the times of Ash's death, Mary Kay Cosmetics had over 800,000 representatives in 37 countries, with total annual sales of over $200 million. In 2013, the company completed 50 years of history. In 2014, Mary Kay Cosmetics has accounted more than 3 million consultants all over the world and sales volume of more than 3 billion products. Currently, the company has operations in more than 40 countries, including Brazil. After her death, Ash has received numerous honors from business groups around the world, becoming a legend of entrepreneurship and one of the greatest entrepreneurs of all time. The company was also recognized by Fortune magazine with the inclusion in the 100 best companies to work for in America. The company was also named one of the 10 best companies for women to work for. In addition to her corporate legacy and several lectures and trainings, Mary has also authored several books, including Mary Kay, an autobiography in 1994, Miracles Happen and You Can Have It All in 1995. Her first book, called Mary Kay on People Management, was published in 1984, and Nightingale Conant produced an audio program written by Mary herself, with the same title as the book. Mary Kay was one of the greatest entrepreneurs in history and helped empower millions of women around the world, transforming lives and enabling the emerging of millions of entrepreneurs worldwide. This is another story that deserves to be told on our channel. To receive more free content, subscribe to our channel and trigger the bell to receive our updates. Hope you enjoyed. See you soon. Bye-bye.